Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Last fly of the evening before it gets too dark and that rain comes in. We're going to try to take this marlin off again with the uh, upgraded landing gear I've added and see if we can't fly. The wind isn't so bad now. Grass has dried out a little bit more. Hopefully I can... Got the 2200, 2200 uh, battery pushed back a little further than normal. I got takeoff flaps. Maybe I can get up off the ground. We shall see. Come on, baby. Yeah. See, she when she lets go and that grass lets go, suddenly you've got that torque issue. All right. It's what I like to call the let go effect. Oh, that light white and blue plane against a light blue gray sky. <laughs> Flipper. Boy, she got a nice roll rate, doesn't she? I'm going to have to land her. I can't even see her. I can barely see her. This is where lights would be a great help right now. Come by slow, no flaps, but into the wind. But let's land her and see if I can take off in that grass again. All right, out of the power now. Maybe a quarter pound throttle. And flare. All right, let's get her turned around here. All right, get her turned around here. I don't know why I didn't do this in the beginning. All right, take off flaps. Full up elevator. Oh, come on. There we go. Just need that little extra bump there to help her out. But I wanted to show that you can fly her, land and take off on grass with no issues. It may just take her longer to get up off the ground. You got so much resistance. And then you gotta be careful about cleaning out your EDF. Flare a little bit at the end. There you go. Nice thing about grass, gonna slow her down. Motor off. Motor off. Now, not worried about the length of the battery. I only flew her for basically two and a half minutes, but my point was to show that with the gear mod, because I don't believe the stock gear you could do it. Um, with this gear mod, this is this is the gear. Let me come closer for y'all can see it. As you can see, she's got the trailing link gear now. This is not stock, okay? There'll be a link to the video um, where I did the gear mod. This is the gear that comes from the FMS Futura 64. I ordered this from Hobby Zone. Came in the mail about a week and a half, and it just literally pops in just like the gear. You have two grub screws; they fit perfectly on the the, the uh, tiller staff shaft that comes through there. You got a, a flat side on one, and then it anchors on the other, and it's in there. But it, what this does is number one, the wheels are slightly larger than the stock wheels, and it puts the plane about an inch higher off the deck level. Okay. So that makes grass ops possible. Yes, it will up the price of the plane, but it is a great stable flying EDF. She has thrust reverse, this, the new version does. Uh, it doesn't say anything in the manual, but that yellow pigtail, you put it in open short, uh, open port, sign it to a switch like your gear, because you don't have retracts, and you can have thrust reverse. Um, 
Let me just show you real quick. So you won't be able to. That's thrust reverse. But, um, yeah, buy that gear. Now, the plane is 199 I think it's 199 I think. I'm not really sure. I don't remember now. And then the gear, it will run you about 20 I want to say the, the nose is $8.99, and these, I think, are $18.99. So it works out about $25 or so, and maybe more. And then the plane's $199. So you're going to have a good buy of taxes and everything, about $250 wrapped up in it. But it's a great flying plane. Go use my link, okay, and I can save you some money. I'll put a link in the description or the purchase of this plane in the description of the video. And in that, when you find the plane, you go to the, the Arrows EDFs, find the Marlin through that link on the Hobby Zone website, put her in your basket, go ahead and go to the FMS part of the website using the same link, find those gear, put those in your basket, okay? And put in the code in that little, uh, on the right, you'll see a little coupon code. Put in all caps, FGFRC, FGFRC, and you'll take $10 off the entire cost of the, the, uh, the purchase. I mean, yeah, it's not a lot of money, but 10 bucks is 10 bucks. It helps you out. You get a great plane with a great simple mod, which I'll show you how there's a video. I put a video on how to do that. It's insanely simple. And you get a great trainer-like flying jet that's a lot of fun. You had to put your own receiver in there. I have an AR630. Now, that's, that's a whole different ball of wax. You have to buy your own receiver. But um, so whatever, you know, whatever radio system you want to use. But this is the Marlin. I'm Fat Guy Flies RC. Thank you for watching. God bless y'all. Shout out to Hobby Zone for sending this out to me for review. And the only negative I have really about this plane is I wish she had lights. Uh, I'm okay with no, with no retracts because it keeps the plane light. It also um, helps keep the cost down. Um, but I do wish she had a couple lights. That would really help on like an overcast day like this. Uh, but other than that, great plane, great flying plane. God bless y'all. And thank you for my camera lady for filming for me. Bye y'all. Don't forget, faith, family, and friends. And then Jets with gear mods. Bye-bye.